It's hard to believe that a month has passed since the first developer preview built upon Android 13, but now developer preview two is here and it's available with a host of new features and functions. So here's a short list of some of the best. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Let's start with the also often altered media player, which is getting another makeover in Android 13 developer preview two. In the first developer preview, a few things were changed. Those were likely by accident, but now we have a better idea of what is going to be changing with this current build. It's almost paying homage to the pre Android 11 media player that features album art and the new player also stylizes any media with a large circular play pause button and playback progress bar available, which take up a much larger portion of the panel at your fingertips. You'll also get media app specific controls here too, including things such as skip forward, skip backwards, shuffle, and even favorite options, plus some more where available. It's a big change to essentially revert back or at least pay homage to the older player style, albeit with a material you twist. That said, we would expect Google to make a few more tweaks to the media player as the developer preview increases. Android 13 developer preview 2 also expands out the usability of the pop-out playback switcher, which is tied to the media player, with an added option to pair to a new device directly. And this should help streamline the process of getting connected to Bluetooth speakers and headphones, as you don't actually need to close the panel and then head directly into settings and then access the wider pairing controls as of the Bluetooth section. That said, this should make things a little bit quicker to get paired to your favorite Bluetooth devices. There's a lot more going on though in the notification shade this time around than just a media player. Google has decided that this prominent UI portion needed some serious attention in Android 13 developer preview too. So there is gonna be a lot to unpack. Although the feature itself does remain intact and as it was before and blocks out any unwanted distractions and notification pop-ups, priority mode is the brand new name for do not disturb. Opening this or opening the wider settings to this might still show do not disturb though, but it will be known as priority mode going forward. Controlling any smart home connected devices is now done so under the banner of home rather than the somewhat generic device controls toggle. Much like the priority mode toggle though, no functionality has changed. However, there is a new icon on the lock screen here too to account for this update. Although added back in developer preview one, the QR code scanner or the quick settings tile to do so should now work on most devices. And this just allows you to quickly scan QR codes without actually needing to open a dedicated application or even Google Lens to access that. You may have issues though, and I've not encountered this myself as a result of Google Play services and the most recent update, but it should work after getting the right build. Not content with the microphone and camera access toggles, Google has now added a new toggle called security and privacy that kind of amalgamates or merges the camera, microphone and the location access controls under one easy to access banner. That said, we're not sure what's gonna happen long term, but this could eventually replace three tiles, but for now, you can have both for a little bit of extra redundancy, should you wish. At the very bottom of the notification shade, once it's fully expanded, you now see new pinned toggles for the power menu, settings and profiles if they're enabled on your device. This is visible, as I mentioned, when fully expanding out this pane and does make it even easier to access any of these important portions as they're now closer to your fingertips at the bottom of your display rather than halfway up of your screen. Like they're able to help you instantly see what apps are running in the background at any one point in time, there is also a new option in the notification shade toggle called active apps. Tapping this will just open up a small pop-up that will show any currently running background applications you're also able to stop these from running to free up any system resources if you wish. It's not just a notification shade where it's changed as the lock screen itself has had some tweaks too. And if you happen to get multiple notifications at once in Android 13 developer preview two, you'll now see these bundled together once you have more than three visible. You will see, you will see these latest two notifications and any details of these while any app icons will appear underneath to indicate that you have other app notifications waiting to be opened. Tapping these just opens and actually fully expands the notification shade so that you can see everything that you might have missed. Likely part of the wider enhanced privacy dashboard controls when you launch an app in Android 13 Developer Preview 2, you may see a pop-up asking if you want to confirm 
that or allow said application to continue sending notifications to you. This might be especially useful for seldomly used applications that can kind of clutter and invade your on-device notifications. That said, this might sporadically appear when you've opened apps for the first time in Android 13 Developer Preview 2 if you haven't opened them for a while. While we've been able to create multiple on-device profiles for quite a long time in Android, Google is addressing a minor issue by adding the ability to create and upload your own profile images. When creating or editing an existing profile, you can now select from some basic avatars or even take an image using your Pixel camera alongside being able to upload directly from your camera roll or your gallery. Android 12L is now available and that is focused upon larger form factors and foldables. As part of that, a new taskbar or dock was added, but we're seeing even more tweaks to the feature in Android 13 Developer Preview 2 here. When testing with a tablet like DPI, usually above the 600 mark, you get an app draw button if you have an app currently viewed or visible in full screen. And this makes it easier to quickly launch into other apps for multitasking purposes, but it's still not ideal for large displays. There's even new options in their vibration and haptics section, allowing you to tweak the haptics to suit your own needs with an option to disable alarm vibration, media vibration, and even adjust the intensity of all of these from within the section on specific Pixel devices, such as the Pixel 6. Although added in the first preview, if you're multilingual, you're now actually able to set individual languages on an app-by-app -app basis. And this can be found by heading to settings, system, languages and input, and then app languages. Each application will be set to your system default as standard, but you can adjust this to any available language on your device, and it should work as advertised. When your pixel is docked, you can activate a screensaver mode to show a sort of semi-smart display UI. In Developer Preview 2, this menu within the settings app has now been revamped and better resembles the wallpaper and style section. Instead of diving deeper into menus from this actual settings page, with all options are available to at your fingertips, including clock, colors, and your Google Photos library, where you can make tweaks as you deem necessary. To help with visual adjustments as well, Android 13 Developer Preview 2 merges the display size and the font size sections into a new display size and text section that lets you control all associated on-screen visual elements. You also get better previews of your changes in a smaller preview window right above any changes you're making. So that's all of the best new additions in the latest build of Android 13 and the most recently released timeline suggests that this is the last preview build before the beta begins in April. So we're expecting much more over the coming months. And obviously to celebrate, if this video manages to reach 2,500 likes, we'll give you some of our exclusive Android 13 developer preview to wallpapers to celebrate and set on your own device. So be sure to hit that like button on your way out. Before you head off though, we also wanna know what is your favorite new feature or even features? Let us know down in the comment sections below. But until next time, this is Damien with 95 Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.